Hey, up duck, we're back doing nails and we have Faye in the building. So the reason Faye is back is because she's got a few little cracks. So I want to show you how to repair a nail. So if you if you are a um, nail wearer and you have any cracks in your nails, you need to get your butt straight back to the nail tech. Don't be like gluing them or sitting there pecking them or thinking they'll be fine, they'll be fine, they'll be fine. Get back to your nail tech, let her repair them and then they'll last. And that's what we're going to do today. So I've put a little bit of pen on the fingers that have a little crack and each sort of side. So we've got the thumb was the first one wanted that you noticed. Yeah, thumb. Yeah, so we've got two marks on there. So I know where I'm going. And you can see this one here. That's just starting to crack here. So, and that's probably the most, it's the most obvious one because it's on a nude nail. Whereas the thumb, if you look at it, it's more it's really disguised. Yeah, it? it's disguised within the, the crinkle effect. And it is, let me try to get the light on it there. Can you see? Just there. And then on the other side. Let me try and get the light on it. Yeah. Just there. So, what we have to do is figure out, is it the top coat that's cracked? And I can just put a little bit of pressure and I can see that it's gone through to the gel and, and the acrylic. So you can use a hand file or an e-file and I'll show you both ways. And what I'm going to do is use, so this is a 150 grit file and I'm going to use basically just this edge and I'm going to angle it like this. And what that'll do is it'll eat into that crack. So we're going to eat into that crack and remove the crack itself. I feel like you get more control of your hand file when it when it is a like when you were saying like with it being a crack. Um, I can do it either way to be honest. I think I think people will have a personal preference, definitely. But you, you could eat away it too much, whereas you think you can do it a little bit more subtle with you. Do you can, know what I mean? You've like got gradual, I think you've, you've probably got gradual. a little bit more control with a hand file. But. I'm going to show you both ways. So you can see how we're just taking that away. And we want to get quite close to the natural nail. You don't want to hit the natural nail, but we want to get quite close. So we create this little light scoop. If we can see it from the side. You see that little dip that we have here. So we have that little dip there and that'll be filled with new product. So let's check the other side. Okay, so get that 150. Let's double check it is product and not just the top coat. Uh, this one's really small, so it's it's a lot more difficult to see. You'll need to keep dusting away. And I actually can't see a crack through the product. So let me just go over with a 240 grit file and see if it changes anything. Is my finger out or right out of the way down yeah, here? Absolutely fine, no, Faye. Because I feel like it was in your way there, it was where your hand wanted to be. The only thing that is there is like a tiny little pinhole. Can you see? Can you see that pinhole there? Oh, yeah. With no product in. It's and I think random. that's what's made that happen. It's very random. So I will put a tiny bit in there, but it's not gone through the entire That's good. depth of the product, which you really like. Whereas this one, uh, it definitely has, hasn't it, Doc? Well, I think I'd rather it be like that, though, than off. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'd much rather it do that. And generally, sculpted nails tend to break where the natural nail finishes. 
So if they break, obviously these are really long, so they've got more chance of breaking because they are really long. Um, so because they break where the natural nail finishes, they don't hurt. Whereas a tip, if a tip breaks, it's attached. Uh, yeah, it's attached to the natural yeah. nail, so it'll nine times out of ten it'll split the natural nail. <laughs> can be a little bit painful. So what I'm going to use is the secret weapon now. I'm going to use it on a high speed with light pressure. So I've got this on 25. So the secret weapon bit. I'm going to support this, the length of this nail. So with my middle finger. And I'm just going to create like that little dip. So I'm not just going down and pressing, I'm going across like this. I feel like it's easier with that. Now I've seen both, both yeah. ways. This is more precise. So I can go right into that little corner like that. And it, it has slightly, I don't know if that's your nail or yeah, that's... Peter, I, I feel like it might have touched my nail. And I don't know why, because I've not bashed it. So I don't know why. Index fingers always... Pointer fingers or index fingers on your... Um, hands are the ones that are going to get used the most, so they will get damaged before anything. Yeah, the inner fingers, not the outer fingers. Yeah. Which surprised you because you'd feel like it'd be outer fingers because your outer fingers are closer. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but you just use away, use away from me. You use these more though, don't you? Yeah. You use those fingers more. Whereas those. Yeah, they're relevant. Bit irrelevant, yeah. <laughs> don't really, don't really do, you if don't. you lost them fingers, you'd still be alright. You might look a bit, you know, different, but. And then I'm just going to skip across just to take off the top coat. And we can then fill in that little valley with product. So this one, there's one here. And this one's really difficult to see as well, but I put that little mark there so I know that it's there. Let's just skip over to see what it is, where it is. Is it deep? A little bit of pressure. I'd it's there, but it's tiny. Because what will happen is, if a little, if a little split appears, as it presses, it will get worse. But then what will happen is, it'll, the top coat will look worse than the actual break. It kind of, it'll start, I don't know what the word is. I know what you mean. It'll yeah. like start, and then it'll start to continue, but it, that is probably more the top coat than it is the brake itself. So I'm gonna use it at an angle like this because I wanna keep this shape. So we're not destroying the colour here. We're gonna redo the design here. Just gonna sneak that up there. So, so we'll redo the design in here and pad it out. So let me get my 240. You don't want it to be smooth, you want the product to attach. So we've got the bubble wrap and I'm just stretching little bits because I want it really wrinkly and I want it in small sections. It doesn't need to be a big section. So you can tear that off. You can cut it if you want, but I'm just a little bit ruthless and just like to pull it off. And ain't nobody got time for that. What I need to hear is a thin bead of acrylic in clear. And we're using Glitterama because we're using the same brand that we've used on these nails already. That's really important. So, High angle when you're picking the bead up so you can get a small bead. Actually, it's a little bit too big, so we'll take a bit of that off. 
and we're just going to pat this out nice and thin feather fresh nose and make sure I'm getting right down this side On this one, this side, I'm trying to hold that skin away from that because I don't want the skin at the side to push the product out. Yeah. Makes sense? Yeah. I'm going to get the design needle from the Pammy Picker up here. Turn it this way for me. And we're going to fill in that little tiny hole with that colour. What's the pin hole then? Pin hole? The thing is, with this kind of design, with the with what the crinkles, it, it's very difficult to make sure every tiny bit is okay. covered with product. So that's going to be part of it. I'm just going to flash cure that. That's going to cure that on my thumb as well. Didn't think about that, did I? It's a good job my nails are trashed and they need doing anyway. So now we're going to pour a very thin layer of acrylic over that. I've got my hands in the way. Can't do Your hands in the way. Oh, we'll just decapitate this form. Know, take the fingers off, please. So I'm just feather that out. Fab. That's that. Let that set. This is going to set now. Now we're going to use the Dainty Dolly colour from Glitterama. And we're going to fill in this little section here. Feather it out. So we just feathered that out, we're going to let that set and then that can be filed. Now with this one, we want a very, very thin layer of clear acrylic here just for a little bit of strength where we have bare nail at the top need a little bit of primer and again a very thin small bead at the top here Done. Yep, so I've made sure the ones that I put a bit of pen on, I have done those ones. So I can now wipe that bit of pen off with a bit of clean up solution. Right, so now we're just going to file this because we want this nice and smooth when we do our design work. Let's just smooth that bit out now. And I'm just gonna get the metal file up here. It's gonna get in a little bit tighter. I'm not worried about the stones because they can be replaced. I just want it because the top coat, because um, fake canes are sunburns. You re I, re I just want it. I don't even know if it is the top coat. I think it's the acrylic, you know, that's discolored. You think it is the acrylic? Yeah, it is, yeah. Cool, as so if we just have a, let me have a buff for that. Yeah, it is. It's gone slightly more peach. I'm gonna put top coat over this, aren't I? So I just wanna buff over this so it's abrased. You can also go over with 240 grip file if you want to. Will you top coat them for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh. So I'm going to do that on all the nails anyway. 
How are you coping with the lem? Absolutely fine. What about the shape? Absolutely fine. You don't want the ends lobbed off? Absolutely you don't want not. them made into... Absolutely not. You don't want them made into ballerina. like a ballerina, no? no? Absolutely no. not. Okay. Can you believe I'm saying that? No, because I did. And I was like, I'm going to be able to function with these bad boys. Yeah, I thought you were going to struggle, to be honest. Did you expect me to be like, I'm coming over immediately? Yeah, and I need I need the lamp taken yeah, down, anything. or I need I need the shape changing because you were dead set on having um, stilettos, weren't you? Yeah, I was like I want stilettos. And then you were like, oh, I don't know if I can cope actually. Question: Why have you buffed it before you've filed it? I just it? wanted to see if it would buff it enough. Okay, and it doesn't. No, I just want a little bit more. A bit more. <laughs> a little bit um, more abrasion. More abrasion. It's a very abrasion there, isn't it? I feel like there could be a case to me in dictionary, I do. Oh, definitely, in, like a nail terminology Absolutely. dictionary. Yeah. Can't oh. have fresh nails for my birthday. I can't believe oh, it's my birthday. I, know. Tomorrow. I can't believe it's your birthday tomorrow. Oh, God. 32. Do you share a birthday with a famous person? Do I? Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I think you need to Google that. Let's have a look. No. I know, do you reckon? I know, yeah. but I want it to be a really good celebrity. Mm, you would be a good celebrity, Jay. Would you be a good celebrity? Yeah, for Faye to um, share a birthday with. Well, it's not the Queen, is it? Nope. Have a look. Like Tom Cruise or something like that. Which famous people do I share a birthday with? Right, let's see if there's like a website you can put your birthday in. Who was born in your birthday? Day, June. It month, June, day, night. Johnny Depp. person at this moment in time is Johnny Depp and Faye shares a birthday with Johnny Depp. And Michael J. Fox. Oh, and Michael J. Fox! Oh, Jack! Um, that is mad, that I is. How amazing is that? That is mad. So can you put mine in? Yeah. 28th of the 9th. Oh, no. Hilary Duff. Hilary Duff, okay. Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh! <laughs> Share a birthday with Gwyneth Paltrow, darling. Gwyneth Paltrow! Okay. I like Gwyneth Duff. Right, Jay, when's your birthday? Me. Oh my God, the 18th? Next week? Yeah. Oh, Jay, happy birthday next week. I oh, probably okay. won't be able to wish happy birthday. Paul McCartney! Oh my God, Don't get much Jay. better than that! Oh my God, the that, be old. that is pretty epic, that is. I don't know any of the others, but I know Paul McCartney and that's good enough for me. So now for the difficult part, we are going to put the design back on to the little parts that are missing, like here. And that one's fine. And this one in this little corner here. Just give them a little clean while we're there. I do love these nails. I love them. Love, Absolutely love, love, love them. them. Right, so we're going to take the colours that we used. So we've got a bit of indie, a bit of... Was this Silly Billy? No, Silly Billy. And a little bit of sham. Just give it a little bit of a mix. Just like that, nothing too crazy. Going to get our wrinkly. <laughs> cellophane or bubble wrap and squish that in pull that off and then what you have to do is, like we did in the other video, we're going to look for any excess that is protruding. So that little bit there, we'll just 
get rid of that. But then you've got your wrinkly dinkly on there again. I feel like it just needs a tiny smidge of uh, of colour. So That's better. And then we've got this bit here, haven't we? So we're going to do the same here. Ha. 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 That's a good little um, tool, isn't it? It's just a little skinny pair of tweezers. I'm just going to move that with this pickle up. Not the pammy. Oh, the pammy. Right, just going to hold that there before I press. And that's a lot of good got a little bit in here. Let's get rid of them. Because obviously it moves as you, as you place it on. Right, so. We're going to encapsulate those bits with those bits, those sections. That's the right word, Kirsty. We're going to encapsulate those sections with some clear acrylic. I'll be dead around them then. She knows what I'm like. Should we go in? Yeah. You're too cold! I know. Mind you, it's not like you were doing the nail extensions, so I'm assuming no, it's fine. It's fine. A cold client does cause havoc with the nail application. And I am the nastiest person in the world. You are. I went, when I went to Chester on Saturday, took a jacket with me. There's no way I wasn't taking a little jacket with me. I was like, if I'm cold, I'll be vile. If you don't feed me, I'll be even more vile. And then same on this one. Keep it a little bit wet so it fits into all those recesses. And then you can feather it out. So I'm just going to file that now, make it nice and smooth. And then the brakes are all fixed. It's a lot quicker than redoing the entire nail. We don't have to put up with Faye for that amount of time. Again. You know I love I mean, you. he speaks to the nail. Models like that. I'm only just your nail model. Do you know what? That. Don't you forget. That. Went out with Faye, didn't I? We, went, yeah, we had a... Um, Faye had a mocktail. I had a cocktail. Put some pictures on Instagram on my stories. No, you didn't. What happened? And... Um, I had people messaging me going, no, is that fate? Is that fate? <laughs> oh my God, is that fate? Yeah. And I'm just like, shh. They're like, oh my God, finally put a, na a face to the name. Mm. So you have to keep an eye out on my um, Instagram. You may see Faye. Everybody's instantly zooming in on the nails. <laughs> Who is that? That's got to be Faye. I've been on your, I've been on your social media. You've done it before. Oh, we've done it before. Yeah, and they have commented just before. Have oh, they commented before? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Saying, is that Faye? <laughs> I'm like, mm. the most beautiful Ask no little. questions, I'll tell you no lies. The most beautiful little creature in the world. <laughs> <laughs> They were nice photos though. Yeah, it's a lovely, li lovely little cocktail bar. It was lovely. It yeah. was so lovely. Still not heard of Prada. No, I was going to ask if you've heard of Prada, but she did no. say it could take a few weeks. Yeah, so if you've ever got a designer item, whether it's a bag or whatever like that, and it's broken, and even if it's, this has been 18 months since I purchased this item, and I haven't got a lot of designer items, so the ones I have, I've saved a lot of money for, and I've, you know, bought them, so I, I treasure them. Well, they're broke, so we went to Prada, we're attend, don't we, don't and we? they are actually going to repair it. If they can't repair it, which she says she doesn't think they can, they will send us a credit note. And I can buy something Us. else. Me, you. Yeah, they sent me a credit me. note. And then I can just buy something else. Yeah, she's already seen much more. Yeah, I've already got my eye on um, a phone case. Just give them a buff. And if you've not seen these nails be created in full, you're missing out. And I'm sure that Jay will pop a link for the full videos. 
whether it'll be in the description box or it'll be like here somewhere hovering um you can take a look at how we did them from scratch because they took some time and effort but they were well worth it Right, so let's put a bit of oil on. And we're using the Eclair Critical Oil, which is sassy and classy, because that's what she is. She's sassy and she's classy. <laughs> Maybe not the classy, but she's definitely sassy. <laughs> All done, Doc! Look at them. Have you told people Fresh. how long that they, uh, they've been done? Two weeks. Oh, yeah. look how little, little growth there and is, look at the growth! Two it's weeks. Mad, there's none. Some people have like 3,000 as much as that. Oh no, it's mad, <laughs> isn't it? Two weeks. So lucky. There you go, guys. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope eh? it helps you if you have those clients that come in and they're like, oh, I've, I've got a little crack. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Everything I've used today will be listed below. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and all that, you know. All the social media platforms because there's way too many at the minute maybe i don't know do we need more no i'll see you in the next video First things first. First things, things first. first. Too many. F -f -f too many. F -f 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 first things first. Oh, I look so tanned. Yeah, I know. But I only notice it when I'm next to you. You just notice it because I'm so pale. <laughs> Cheers. I just didn't realise how tanned I was. Oh, you know how to make your a girl feel good. <laughs> I look to your hand and I'm like, why does my hand look so tanned?